Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm making wire dragonfly wing spacer beads. Let me know in the comments below if you would like a tutorial for the butterfly spacer bead wings. There's an option to use the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. I need 18 gauge stainless steel artistic wire and some hard jaw semi flush cutters to cut the wire. I also have 22 gauge artistic wire, the beetle on slim line, chain nose pliers, the round nose pliers, and the nipper tool. You will need some head pins and I'm using my precision round nose pliers and the beetle on bail making pliers. So we're going to start with about 6 inches of 18 gauge wire. If you are using the jig, this is just to create your own little supplementary peg that has a smaller tip. So I'm just bent the wire and I'm twisting the wire back on itself to make the base a little bit wider so it won't jiggle around so much in the jig. This is just a little gadget. There's some other ways that I'm working on to make these little pegs. So we are going to measure so it goes to the surface of the jig and then clip it with those hard wire cutters. You don't want to ruin your good cutters and then pinch in the little end. So now we're going to cut it so it's not too long. It sits above the jig and then you're just going to slip it in between two of the medium to small size pegs. So now we're going to just start by making a little circle in the middle of the 22 gauge wire and slide it onto that supplementary peg and wind it around the regular pegs to make the wings. So now we're going back around the little tiny peg and then we're going to hop over the regular peg twice on each side to make the wings. So around, hop over that skinny peg, bring it back around, hop over the regular peg, and around towards the center again. So from here we're just going to make a closed loop around that tiny peg and we'll hop over and do the same with the other wire. We need two little finished loops. So you remove it and clip the ends of the wire flush on both sides with the nipper tool. And from there we need to push down that little pokey end and adjust the wings. So we're just going to push in that little pokey end. And then we're going to bend the wings out just with the chain nose pliers so the wings are flat and the loops are perpendicular to the wings. This creates a kind of spacer type bead thing that will go onto a head pin. So we're just going to keep adjusting it and press the wire so it's flat and then take the loops and bend them out at a perpendicular angle so we'll be able to slide that on a head pin. So we've got a few tiny little faceted beads on the head pin. They're four millimeter. We're going to slide on those wings right on the head pin. And then a six millimeter miracle bead for the head. Hold them so they're tightly together. You don't want any gaps. Cut it to about three eighths of an inch and grab the end of the wire with the bail making pliers and bring it around into a closed loop. So once you have that, just push it in with the chain nose pliers so it's flat. And you can make your own earring hooks. I have lots of tutorials. You just want to use some hypoallergenic wires, especially if your ears are sensitive. Take two pieces and holding them together, just form the hook with the bail making pliers. So bring it around and then just bend it out at a little bit of an angle. You may have to trim the wires a little bit and then you would file them with a file or a burr cup tool. So there's your finished earring. 
Now if you want to do them by hand without using the jig, similar idea and you want them to be the same size. So I start the two together and then I'm going to form the loops with the end of my precision round nose pliers. You can use any round nose pliers that have a finer tip. So we're going to bring those around into the loop, stack them up because now we want the wings to be the same size. So put one on top of the other, make sure the loops are lined up and get your bail making pliers to form the wings. So bring the wire around on one side, holding both wires together and then getting the finer round nose pliers to bend the wires back. So this way we're just bending them back and forth a little to the side of the middle loop just to have a little bit more space in between the wings. They're going to turn out slightly different than the ones with the jig because the wings are bent a little out from the center. So now we can separate them because we know they're going to be the same size. Bring the wire around to make the second wing with the bail making pliers. I'll link up all the tools in the description below the video and then getting the round pliers to form a little loop in the center above where our first loop was. So you want to make sure the loops are lined up and then we'll do the same on the other side. Bring the wire around towards the center and get the fine round nose pliers to make that loop in the center. I always cut my wires a little too long. You can start with a shorter wire if you want. So now we're going to clip it with the nipper tool. We'll push in that loop with the chain nose pliers, make sure it's even, and then get the round nose pliers to hold the loop and bend the wings up so they're perpendicular to the loop. So just holding that loop with the precision pliers helps so you can push up the wings so there you see they're perpendicular and then for the loops on top we need to do the same so get your chain nose pliers hold the loop and then bend it at a little half turn so they're perpendicular to the wings so hold that loop and push so now you see all the loops are perpendicular to the wings so we'll be able to slide in that head pin. Do any little adjustments that you need. You can grab your round nose pliers just to make sure the wings are nicely symmetrical and centered. So sometimes it just takes a little bit of wiggling for them to be just right. So now you can get your head pin. I'm using a longer oval bead and then you're going to slide on those wings, push them right down. You can squeeze them in with the pliers if they're not tight enough. Adjust them with your fingers. And then we're going to get a six millimeter cat's eye bead, put it on the head pin, and then we need to trim it to about three eighths of an inch. So we're going to give that a little clip and then get our bail making pliers, hold the end of the head pin, bring it out and around to make a centered loop. Push it down with the chain nose pliers and there you have your beautiful dragonfly earring. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. You can get the templates in my Etsy DIY shop, 
be sure to use the coupon code SAVE25 to save 25% when you purchase five or more templates, tutorials, or ebooks in my shop. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.